everyone welcome or welcome back to my channel i am antoinette evans and on this channel i find ways to help you maximize your wardrobe and simplify your life today we are playing in our closet and we're also playing with the sun because as of right now it is very direct but i really want to film this video so we're about to get it done today's drink of choice is a chai tea with some cold foam apps i love a good chai tea we are playing in our closet today which is my new favorite thing to do today's goal is to just see what we have see what outfits i can come up with for different events and things that are coming up in the next couple of weeks and i like to put those outfits aside i'll take pictures kind of save it in my phone so that way if i'm in a crunch or if i get like a last minute invite i can quickly throw on and go this is about to be fun but i have outfits that range from a day event that might turn into a night event i have like an evening wedding when you're bloated and you're on your cycle and you just don't want to suck your stomach in but you still want to look somewhat cute to an all black look because you can't do a summer look without an all black outfit to something super colorful and a little over the top but makes my body look i mean my body looks bodied in this dress so we're playing we're playing with some outfits seeing what can work seeing what doesn't work i'm babbling i cannot wait to get started let's just jump right on in to this video so this is the first option i'm going on vacation i'm on somebody's island um we're doing some day events and we just might you know turn around and just go to dinner in this outfit absolutely love this so let's get into the details my shoes are from guess oldie but goodie i've had these shoes for years they are comfortable I can maneuver, I can dance, I can walk in them comfortably, no issues. This skirt, if I'm being honest, right? I was debating on should I get this skirt or not? Because I felt like it was giving church and there's nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with it, but I was just like, okay, but how am I, go what am I gonna do? This is such a statement that I felt like it would get lost in my closet. It's so busy, but it's so pretty at the same time. It is a three tiered skirt. So you have your three tiers of fabric. I love the movement. I love the ease. It's super light. It's giving earth tone, but it's also very tropical at the same time. I did just pair it with a white belt. Again, you could opt out of the belt, but I just added it in for definition. My top, which is really a tube top from Topshop, I just doubled it so I have more security for the breast to stay put. My top is from Topshop. Went with more of an earth tone color just to balance it out. You could opt for a white top if you wanted to. But I feel like white is something that everybody would do. And just to make it more my style and my aesthetic, I went with something with a little bit more earth tone on top so I can play with all the colors on the bottom. The sunglasses, we are going with the Quay sunglasses. I just feel like it just makes sense for this outfit. And then the question is, what bag? Ooh, that's pretty. This one, this extra pop of color, this just makes sense. Like it just it just makes sense so you have your like it's a plethora of color but it just works you have your earth tone i'm sorry you have your earth tone which is the top You're, you have your statement piece which is the skirt you have a pop of color matching the pop of color with the shoe and again you don't have to do the belt but i just opted for the belt and these sunglasses with this whole outfit you might see these sunglasses the whole way through this video, in all honesty, but I absolutely love this. Where am I going? This is vacation. All day long. This is, we're going on vacation. We're in Jamaica. We're in Turks and Caicos. We're on a cruise ship. 
this is very much a I'm on vacation outfit or we're doing a weekend in Miami and we're going from a day event to dinner. I feel like with this, you could do so much with this outfit. And if you really wanted to, if you really wanted to, you could take this skirt and make it into a dress. Just literally pull it up top so it's a tube dress. It works for those who are on who are pregnant too because there, there's so much room and flexibility with this skirt that you can really just wear it as a tube dress maybe throw a belt to kind of define the waist a little bit but again if you are pregnant this will be perfect perfect outfit but elevated absolutely love it so for the sunglasses I went with my Loewe dupes that I got from Shein I love this pink tint with the green um, outlining absolutely love it the question is what bag in my opinion both bags work you have something that's super basic that works with like a nonchalant daytime, I'm just gonna go run errands kind of kind of situation. Or you can switch it out and go with something that is cliche because you're wearing cowboy boots with like a cow print clutch. Very cliche, but also again, it adds an extra element. It's all about your personal style. Which one responds to you most? which one makes more sense for what you're getting ready to do. You already have like your statement, which in this case is the sunglasses and the boots. You can go with the basic bag because it just works. Or if you're like, nah, I kind of just want to have a statement, an extra statement piece. Let your bag be that extra statement piece. Both options work. It's a basic, basic, basic look. But with your body, with your attitude, with your presence, with that level of confidence, you can turn this into a baddie outfit all day long and go from day to night, run errands, go to a barbecue with fit. Like you can do so much in this one outfit. You can go so many different places with this one outfit. And if it gets chilly, throw on a cardigan, throw on a sweater, throw on a jacket, throw on an oversized blazer. Yeah. Yeah. And you can easily, again, switch out the shoe, switch out the bag, maybe go a little bit more subtle with the sunglasses. But for me, honey, we're going to go with the cliche. It just works. This is very, I'm doing summer in NYC, even though I'm in Atlanta. But I feel like Atlanta wouldn't be able to do summer like this. Like this is very much summer in New York. I feel like this is what it's giving me. A graphic tee and a mesh skirt situation with some like gra black granny panties or black boyfriend shorts or something underneath. It's comfortable, it's effortless. I don't have to worry about wearing a bra if I don't want to. It's just 
I feel like the level of attitude with it, like you have to be able to carry a look like this. If you can't carry the look, it's gonna carry you and it's gonna show. But let's elevate the look and then get into the details of what we would do. So again, this is very, we're going to a day party with the girls. We're probably gonna drink while we outside baking in the sun. We wanna be comfortable, but cute and fashion forward and effortless at the same, like this gives me, I really didn't try. Like I really, I, I really didn't try. Let me put the whole thing together and show you what I mean. It's the nonchalant, I'm not even trying, but I know I look fly type of fit. This is summer in New York. All day long. This is summer in New York. There's attitude. It's a, I'm trying, but I'm really not trying. Like I just do something on really quick because the girls called and said, hey, there's a barbecue downtown. This is that type of fit. I'm deciding to go with sneakers instead of heels. If you go with heels, I would opt, in all honesty, I would opt for like a very strappy shoe. But a strappy heel is not gonna be comfortable all day outside walking around the city or Pauline, whatever in the world you're gonna be Pauline at. Personally, I will go with sneakers. I would say you could do 2002 um, New Balances in that gray and white tone to kind of, you know, match the outfit, or you could do the 2022 New Balances in like a really funky colorway. Or you could do some Sambas in leopard print with this outfit. I would say no Nikes. No, no, I would say no Nike Dunks. This, this is too much of a, I'm an 80s baby, no Nike Dunks. It would have to be some New Balances. It could be some um, Sam Smiths. It could be a platform type of sneaker. But whatever it is, it has to be a sneaker. If you decide to do a heel, I personally would opt for a very strappy shoe. So that way it, it elongates you, and that way the shoe is not distracting from the whole outfit. You get what I'm trying to say, all right? And then the bottom is really a top that I don't wear as a shirt anymore. I just tucked it down, I've lost weight, so now the top don't fit right, but it fits like a skirt. I love this added extra, like, uh, this, this added piece, and I've had this thing for years, four years, and I don't wear it often, and I like it more as a skirt than anything else. T-shirt, $8 from Nordstrom. It was on the sale rack in the men's department. I love me a good oversized t-shirt. Again, I am tall, so nothing really fits me in that oversized, oversized look that I really, really like. But when I find a good piece, grab it and run. $8 on sale from Nordstrom. Y'all have seen this necklace before. I took a choker, one of those choker packs from Walmart, wrapped them around 100 and some change times, come out with this choker. It just adds an extra element. The sunglasses that you guys saw in my last video that again, I will put on the screen and or in the description. These indoor outdoor ombre with the green tint and then going in with some mismatched studs. That's it, no bag. Hopefully you have a guy friend with you with some good pockets, give him your card, hold your phone in your hand. Um, I do have a fanny pack that's like very fitted to the body. I would wear underneath, like right at my waist, so that way if I need to get to my phone, my keys, whatever, it's under my t-shirt, you would never even know I had a bag on. I'm obsessed. This is summer in New York. Definitely. I'm gonna find some way to incorporate this while I'm here in Atlanta, but I, this I love. Uh, I like, I in like this is so me <laughs> this is this is it's so me it's so me i'm so obsessed okay that's enough that's enough that's enough
not really sure what to say. I have a love-hate relationship with this dress. If I'm being all the way honest. I really do have a love-hate relationship because I love the dress and I hate it all at the same time. <laughs> it's so damn busy. Like, it's so busy. This is a John Paul Cotier dupe that I got from Amazon. A part of me wishes I got an extra large instead of a large. But this is a I'm taking myself on a date dress. Or this is a we're going to a concert and I want to look snatched because I'm going to be standing and dancing and comfortable the whole time. Like this is one of those dresses that like you want the attention. Again, I don't know where I'm going. Oh, okay. All right. If I had to put this dress into a category, this is we're going to a concert. We're going to a concert um, somewhere inside, not outside. This is a throw in the bag and go because we're doing something this weekend and we have no idea what's on the agenda. This is a head turner because it is all the way fitted and your girl is sucking her stomach in like crazy right now. You could do shapewear. If you wouldn't feel more comfortable, you could do shapewear, but this dress already feels like I'm wearing shapewear. This dress is so busy. I love it and hate it at the exact same time, but let's style it and see how, what we can do. Now, because this dress is so super busy, honestly, I would say just tone it down. And I would tone it down by just wearing black. So a black heel, nothing crazy, something simple. This is just basically a heeled mule. The heel is a bit high, but it helps to elevate the look. You know, throws my back out. It helps to elevate the look and then a clutch. Again, nothing crazy. The dress is already busy. Black heel, clutch, that's it. The question is, what sunglass are we going to go with? So I have, again, glasses from Quay and glasses from Diff. Now, the one from Diff has like an, it's, you can't really see it on camera, but it's like a burgundy reddish tone with a burgundy slight ombre um, lens. I'm not really feeling this with this outfit. I love these glasses, yes. Just with this outfit, no. It's the Quay. Like, it's, yeah. There's an attitude with these glasses compared to, com compared to my diff ones with this outfit. There's an attitude with the Quay one. So we're, that's the one we're going to go with. This outfit is, again, if there is a concert that we're going to that's in the evening and it's indoors, this is more of a, I'm going to a concert. In all honesty. Something busy, something loud, something comfortable. I can move in. I'm going to have to wear shapewear because right now, again, your girl is sucking her stomach in <laughs> for dear life. I'm not mad at it. It's just really, really busy. This is one of those dresses that I bought because I wanted to try it. I am so happy I bought the dupe off of Amazon instead of buying the real thing. This is something I do not gravitate towards, but it's that extra piece in the closet that you can just do something with depending on where you're going. This is a true statement piece. Not timeless. It's not effortless true statement statement enough where i'm probably not going to wear this too often
I tell you, I am head over heels in love with this dress. I absolutely adore this dress. Now, on a good day, yes, I would wear shapewear, but you know, we're doing this try on haul for you guys. I'm not about to put a shapewear on right now, but I would opt for shapewear just to seal the deal a little bit more. Um, and a good sports bra, not sports bra, and a good t-shirt bra, or just some nipple covers, either one is perfectly fine. I wish I would have gotten this in a size large, just so that way it can hit a little bit longer. Granted, I am 5'9", this dress basically grazes my feet. Had I gotten a large, this part here would have fit maybe like a little bit lower down, which is what I wanted and the bottom half would fit longer to the floor. But either way, I'm obsessed with this dress. I love the ease of this. I love the simplicity of it. It's doing a lot without doing a lot. The fabric is nice and lightweight. I love this like jersey material top with the nylon bottom. I love, like I, when I say I love this dress, I got this dress recently. I did get it from Koss. Koss is one of my favorite brands. I, oh, I love this. I love this. And to be honest, the way I would style it, I would style it in a way where it still keeps the simplicity of the dress. For this, I would say in a way, in a way, less is more. Let me show you what I mean by that. Simple yet effortless. That is the theme for this particular outfit. Simple but effortless. It's one of those all black, like it's a true all black outfit. So, went in with a shoe that I've had for forever. Not the most comfortable shoe, if I'm being all the way honest, but I've had this shoe for so long I feel like with the shoe, you have to go black. You have to go black. It needs to be a good like conversation piece in some way. Wearing the cost dress, you guys, again, this bag is from my last haul, for my summer haul for handbags. Something effortless, it looks expensive, it's comfortable, it works, it holds my phone. Adding in the sunglasses, I'm not popping the tag. I pop the tag when I'm about to wear the item. But because you have an all black outfit, you can play with the sunglasses. So going in again with a Loewe dupe that I got from Nordstrom, I love these frames. This is the one color in the whole outfit, just the sunglasses. And then incorporating some jewels on the ears. Again, the theme is simplicity. That's the theme, less is more. Not meaning less clothing is more, but reducing the amount of accessories and things that I'm wearing to emphasize the entire outfit. The ear cuffs, something fun, something playful. If the ear cuffs are too much, you can simplify it. You can wear some big studs, you can wear some dangly earrings, you can do some hoops. You can pretty much do whatever you want to do for the earrings. It is completely up to you. But this, the simplicity, the effortlessness, is that a word? <laughs> the effortlessness, I'm going to make it a word. The I'm not really trying. It's a date night. It's a day outfit. It's an all black affair. It's a, we're going to a funeral. It's a Sunday after church. This, this is like, I can do whatever I want to do. Go wherever I want to go in this outfit. It's just, it's that good. It's that like, it's just, it's effortless. It's effortless. Oh, it's effortless. I love, 
I love, I love this, I love this. Going in with the last option, this is a, we have a special occasion in the evening to go to. It's one of those, you ate too much throughout the day. You've been outside for the summer. The summer is getting whatever body you got. So this is a, I've been outside, eating my life away, trying new restaurants, drinking a little bit too much, indulging in sweets, not really going to the gym because it's beautiful outside and everybody wants to be outside. And you don't feel like you're in the best shape ever to wear a fitted dress to an evening event. I got this dress around the holiday season, so this is really one of my holiday dresses in all honesty, but it's super lightweight. This is something, it's short, it's midi, so it shows the leg. I love the ease of it. I don't have to worry about sucking my stomach in or having to wear shapewear if I don't want to. Just need a really good bra underneath. That's the only thing that's needed. But this one is one of those things that I would, again, I wouldn't do too much with the outfit. Keep it simple. Let your personality be, be what shines through. And maybe your hair, because your hair definitely should be up or something long and big, like a Diana Ross type of hair type situation, or something up so your face is framed a little bit better. But let's add the little bit of elements to this just to, just to spice it ever so slightly. Now, adding in some additional elements to kind of, again, elevate the look, play with what works for you. Now, because we're doing a summertime outfit, this is something I would only do in the evening, possibly a special occasion. It might be like a last minute invite. You're not really sure what to wear. Your holiday dresses, always a winner. Always a winner for anything that you have in the evening. Find a way to rewear it. Don't, don't just hold on to it because it's the holiday season. Find a way to make it work for what you need. So going in with this mini dress, I could have went down like two sizes, but if I did, then it would have been way, way too short. I'm not about that life. So going in with this dress, I got it from H&M around the holiday season. Keeping it simple to elongate the legs. Yes, I'm already tall, but I still like to elongate my legs. Going in with a two strap shoe with a block heel. You could go with the skinnier heel again to make it more elevated. You could also go with same concept, but something with rhinestones again to pull the elevation together. But for what I have, going with a two strap silver shoe, now we can play with some elements. Two sunglass options and two bag options. I could go with the Quay glasses, which I already know I feel like it's gonna eat. I feel like it, this, is, this is already a win. Actually, it's not. The Quay glasses for an evening event is too much. It doesn't work. I have had these glasses for so long and I don't really wear them. But something that's an evening event that is a talking piece, it's a good we're walking inside with this on, but then we're taking it off. It's something that's so unexpected, but in all honesty, it kind of works. Now the option is what, I really don't have like a silver clutch. So I got this bag a long time ago from uh, Target, but I feel like this plays it down too much. And then you have your one pop of color. 
oh yeah, it's a pop of color. It's, it's definitely a monochromatic fit with a slight mix of metal because of the glasses and a pop of color. You could opt for a smaller bag than this one, but this I feel like helps to make it feel like summer. Something from the winter, again, it, is, it really is lightweight. It's not heavy at all. Something metallic, going in with the silver shoe, kind of keep that monochromatic look. Sunglasses are an added piece that nobody would know. It's just, it's just an added something. Very little accessories to no accessories. Pop of color, something small. And just in case you get an invite last minute to an event in the evening and it's something that you have to pull forward, this is 70s, it's disco, it's nightclub, maybe not wedding, but like an influencer event in the evening that you just wanna pull something together because it's a little bit different than what everybody else is gonna wear. It's a just in case I need to pull this out. That's what this is. A last minute just in case you still look put together. I haven't hit the gym in a month. I've been drinking a little bit too much. Been outside with the girls, a little pudgy. I don't feel like wearing shapewear. Like this, this is that type outfit. That is it. All the looks, I have to say, do represent me except for one. One of them was so daggone busy that I just feel like I probably won't even incorporate it into my wardrobe. I'm more than likely gonna give that dupe John Paul Cotier dress away to someone else. But the goal is to have fun and to shop smart. Shop your closet before you go out and buy something that doesn't represent you. Your personality is your best asset. Your confidence is your best asset. How can you dress comfortably and pull that level of confidence forward? Let your confidence walk into the room before you even get there, before you even arrive. Before someone says, oh, I love your outfit. You exude the confidence in what you have on and because of it, that is your best accessory when it comes to your outfit. But anyway, this was fun. I have to say, I really enjoyed putting all these looks together, shopping my closet. Some pieces are new, some pieces are old, but I love mixing the two together to be able to create a voice that represents who I am. But until next time, I'm Antonia Evans. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll talk to you later. Okay, bye.